Worry not, Grandpa. You may have been a dirty farming pleb that left us with a quarter million dollars of debt, but we will drag your name out of the mud that you have created for yourself by bringing this glorious farm back to its original splendor. Hello everybody, Grace Duplace, we're here checking out a game for the channel called Pure Farming 2018. I'm out here with my sunny shirt and my shady sun hat with the birds flying overhead, clouds in the sky. We're over in Montana. So how does this game stack up to games like Farmer's Dynasty or your Farming Simulator 2000, whatever at the time? So far, so good. Uh, I've been messing around with it. There is a ton of tools and there is a lot to do. So one of the things that makes this a little bit different from Farmer's Dynasty is first off, there's like a million more items that you can buy. But on top of that, there's all kinds of different styles of farming. So you can actually own an orchard or you could own a vineyard or you could do like coffee bean harvesting and stuff like that. There's different places for you to work in. Like I said, we're in Montana. We can go over to Colombia, you can go over to Italy, you can go over to all these different places. The suspension in the game is really good. It almost feels like uh, when I walk around, it's almost like Grand Theft Auto 5-ish or something I almost feel like. The suspension uh, simulation in the game is really sweet. I kind of like that when you're hitting bumps and stuff like that in these big vehicles. It does have the dirtiness thing to it, which I do enjoy. You have to repair these things too. So there's a little bit of a farm mechanic simulator 2018 in here. So one of the things that we have is this wonderful tablet. On our smart farm, we can do a whole bunch of different things. Statistics, emails, shops, functionalities. I don't think you can get a wife in this game. That was the one thing in the other one that you can do. Then over here, being your own boss. You may have guessed, I have a task for you. Allow me to explain. An order came in for a crap ton of grain. To complete the task, you'll need to plow and plant and harvest and transport and do all that kind of stuff. All right. So this is basically like, I went through a little bit of the tutorial where it was just like, you know, how to water crops and how to fertilize them and stuff like that. You start with a pretty decent sized plot of farmland over here. That's, this is just the area where we can park our goods. But if you notice, as I turn on the map though, you're going to notice something. All this area here is ours. This whole big area. Uh, so it is pretty big. We've got pretty much everything you could possibly want. There's like a chicken coop. There's a, uh, you know, place for your, for your beef, <laughs> your cows and your steers and stuff, a dairy area. Uh, there's areas obviously to farm. And then there's a ton more fields for you to buy. These are pear orchards out here. And I know there was an apple orchard somewhere at the top. Big map that you can un- Lock, I guess, as you kind of wander around. You can see as I click and drag, this is all unlockable area that I have yet to go to. And the map's pretty big. You do not want to wander around it. Luckily, they give you a pickup truck. Thank you, God. Looks like an airport or something down there. They give you a pickup truck right off the bat. You have the ability to swap between all of the different pieces of equipment. Very, very uh, gold rush style. So that's fantastic. For right now, let us hop into the... Zetter Major 60 or 80 or whatever the hell it is. 75 horsepowers, people. We're going to go over here and grab our plow of destiny. Right over there uh, is... What is that? The cultivator? Probably looks like. Let me just go ahead and lean on back a little bit more. Attach the plow up in here. We're getting emails all the time because this is kind of how it teaches you to do things. The plow, also spe spelled plow... Is used to plow fields. Fantastic. There's also wind turbines, solar power. It looks like there's workers here too. Uh, we don't have any workers right now. I guess buying some would be pretty sweet. Right now we don't have a lot of profitability because I spent a whole bunch of money to buy this stuff. Well, I was supposed to spend money to buy this stuff. I didn't just like do it all willy nilly. But yes, you can do everything from this tablet. It just costs more. So if you wanted to buy animals or you wanted to buy materials, you could do it. It costs 20% more than if we drive our happy ass over there. Over to the stock market. Wheat's on its way down because I just sold a whole ton of it. How are the ground deformation physics, I do wonder. We'll be finding out shortly. As a matter of fact, while we're here, it's starting to get a little bit dark. Oh, I will say, there is a fantastic interior look to this. It sounds good. It looks appropriate. We've got lights and stuff like that. If you need them, you can turn them on over here. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and wait until it's a brand new day so we can have the sun rising up while we go ahead and rip up this entire field. Oh, this is our house, by the way. Let me go ahead and show you guys this. Because I'm going to tell you something. 
This is not a rundown, beat up farm. This place looks legit. Look at this kitchen area. Brand new stainless steel appliances. We got a fireplace going up in here with the ice flames, big screen TV. Anyway, we go head out here, and this is how we uh, this is how we pass the time by as we do. We'll go ahead and accept this and just kind of move things along until the new day is upon us. So we can jump back into our machinery. Now, in order to get over to the machinery, instead of having to walk yourself over there, we do have a freaking fantastic looking harvester, and it works pretty good, too. Head over to the harvester, pop inside, hit the tab button. There's our Mitsubishi, by the by. Uh, and then right over here, we can head over into the tractor. Get our keys out, start her up. And let's see how well the plow works over here. Let's go ahead and move on over. Now, everything else is pretty simplistic so far. It's showing us how much is plowed, cultivated, sown, fertilized, irrigated, and spring. There's an irrigation system in this game. Uh, there's also, like, a pesticide system in this game, which is pretty cool. We didn't have that before. So it looks like... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and read our mail. We might as well over here. Over into the Smart Farm application. First unfold it, lower it. Okay, so R, Z, and Q. Fantastic. We should be able to do this pretty quickly. One thing I noticed is that this game seems to... Everything seems to go by a little bit quicker than Farmer's Dynasty. I kind of like that. Because um, I don't like to be just screwing around the whole time. I like to get stuff done. So let's go ahead and start pulling things apart over here. We do have a... Uh, cruise control that we can lay down. Let's take a look at the dirt moving over here. Eh, it looks pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate that there's chunklets of dirt flying off. It looks good. Like, the actual ground being deformed looks pretty decent. I will say, I do also like the fact that they started us with a tractor that has more than, like, 15 horsepower or whatever the last one had. Not that I don't appreciate having to work my way up, but as long as there's new things to buy, I'm always really happy. And there is a lot of new things to buy in this game. Like I said, since there's irrigation and fertilization and pesticide application, all that kind of stuff, there is plenty of different pieces of equipment for you. And on top of that, they have all kinds of different upgrades and stuff as well. And then on top of that, the farm also has a bunch of different upgrades that you can deal with. Oh yeah. This is why like the what do they call like the ASMR videos, the the most satisfying videos in the world. There's something satisfying about sitting behind the uh, the wheel over here, dragging a nice thick plow across a plot of land that's gonna make us a crap ton of money. I don't know what it's gonna have us plant here. I don't know what we're allowed to plant. I harvested wheat as part of the tutorial. Wheat's pretty pretty typical. I also saw that there is barley and rye as well. So I don't know if those are going to come into play or whatnot. Something else I noticed in this game is apparently there's going to be mod support. Or there's already mod support. There's an area that says mods. And the cities appear lived in, which I appreciate. I totally missed like a column of land over there. We're going to go ahead and plow that in just a second. The cities appear lived in. Like there's people that wander around. They talk to each other. There's cars moving about. They stop for the train and all that. There have you. I like that it's not just us in this world. That, like, if I drive around, I'll have to watch out for additional individuals. I feel like I'm fresh out of the 1950s or something with this wardrobe I decided to pick. You can customize your wardrobe, which is kind of unusual. I don't usually see that. But you can pick, like, different hats and different facial features. Well, different skin tones, I should say. Your facial features are kind of the same, but your hat and your pants and your shirt and all there have you. You can mess around with if you want. Give yourself a little bit of customization, which I, I can't I can't say I don't mind. There's, of course, a whole slew of odd jobs around town that you could do should you want to. Where lovely plastic-faced individuals with Google Translate voices will tell you about the things that you could do for them. Actually, you know what? It almost... I don't know. It Our, our main guy kind of sounded Google translate -y, But I was talking to another dude that wanted me to water his orchard. And he actually did not sound like he was translated. He sounded like a real guy, potentially. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if there's actually voice acting talent in this game. I'm gonna tell you, man. That's gonna be that's gonna have to be us one day. We're gonna have to do voice acting for these games. Got ourselves a lovely sunroof on this beast. For when the sun beating the crap out of us just isn't good enough. I think that our plow is right about where it should be when we're driving with it. It appears that way. Oh, the other thing I noticed too, while you do leave dirt tracks where your vehicle goes, 
the plow doesn't deform the regular earth. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I think it's fine because it's sure keeping our, our plow lines super manicured. I mean, this looks like, this looks like a real pro was here doing this. I'm gonna have to get with the developers though and see if they could put in a Dodge pickup truck instead of the Mitsubishi. I went to the store to see what other kind of pickup trucks you could buy. They all appear to be Mitsubishi. I don't know if it's um some sort of sponsorship or something, or maybe Mitsubishi is the only vehicle model that's totally okay with you taking their vehicles and put them in, in video games. I, I actually, I have no clue how that works. I can just tell you that part of me wants the Ram in here. In retrospect, that sentence sounded really, really bad. More plowing has to be done. We have to shove our gigantic blades into the ground with power and fury so that we can make a bunch of money. Plowing, definitely not faster. Cultivating was faster than it was in Farmer's Dynasty. For sure, cultivating was way faster. But this plowing, eh, it feels right about the same, I would say. I will say, this thing definitely seems to guzzle gas down like a lot more than in Farmer's Dynasty. Like, we're gonna need gas pretty soon. We're down to, it says eight gallons or so. I'm missing a couple of patches of area. It's a little bit weird. The way it works is if you're just not close enough, it'll look like it's plowed, but it's actually not. There's like little openings of where the uh, the potential, like, I don't know, seed area would be. You can see the little, little sproutlets coming up from the ground right there where we cut them the last time when I harvested all this. In case you're wondering on the backstory on this, our grandfather owned this glorious plot of land. However, he ended up dying, filled with debt, because no one wanted to take over. How come that's always how it is? How come the grandfather is always, like, terrible at what he did, and he always leaves the grandson or granddaughter the giant wreck of a project that's left over? I feel like all these video games have something against grandparents. Because, don't, don't you notice that's always how it is, like Stardew Valley and all that kind of stuff? When, when the grandfather dies, you get to his farm, and like the roof is falling apart, and all the crops are in disarray, and there's cobwebs everywhere, and everything looks like crap. I'm surprised when we're not plowing this field, we're not churning up like a dead body or something like that. Actually, that'd be pretty funny. They should do that. Developer, do that. Because that's what should happen. Like, keep, keep, the, keep the, the player from getting too relaxed, basically. Because you'll be thinking to yourself, you're going to be like, I'm going to be planting some weed up in here pretty soon. going to be plowing all this stuff. Next thing you know, a giant thing of bones comes churning up from the ground. And now, the farming simulator has become a forensic simulator. All right. All right it seems like if you get 90% of the field, that's when it turns on to the next thing that you can do. So we can go on to the next thing. We actually need to get gas. Uh... Because we got like four gallons of gas left, so we are almost screwed. Because I don't know, I don't think there's a tow option in this game. So, if I run myself out of gas, I, I don't really know how to fix it. Oh, it actually gives you a little warning when you run out of gas. It gave you a little, little beeper, and it's got the sad gas can right next to our four gallon area. That's fantastic. I really appreciate that game. All right, we'll, we'll fix up this little area over here, and then we'll go and get some gas. Because we're, we're going to have to seed anyway. So... We're going to be burning a bunch more of the delicious fossil fuel. Let's go ahead and just do this over here. We're at 95%. You think we can get 96? We get 96? There we go. 96%. We'll stop at 96% right now. Let me go ahead and take this. Throw it on over into the attachment garage as we do. Go ahead and pull it in like this. I drive like a friggin' maniac. I know. Go ahead and do this right over here. You can also drive a lot faster if you don't have the attachments on you. So when you can, get them off. There we go. Excellent. I just know there's a drone landing pad with it. There's like a mayonnaise factory as well. There's a creamery. Yeah, mayonnaise factory. Look at this stuff. All right, let's go over by this gas station and go ahead and get ourselves set up real quick with some brand new gas for this poor machine. And then we're going to continue onward. A big old satellite dish over here for uh, getting in contact with the mother world. This is the field number 31. $155,000 for this field. But... There is a reason for that. Look at the friggin' size of this field. Look at how ridiculous this is. Now remember, all this stuff is potentially ours. There's all kinds of extra sheds I've seen. And like I said, we can open up some solar panels. That would be pretty sweet. We've got two gallons of gas left. So please, God, 
get over to the gas station or old gray is gonna be crying himself to sleep now you can go on the roadway and you move a little bit faster on the roadway see how we're going 13 miles an hour up in here watch this hit the roadway going 21 23 that's pretty cool that's pretty good there is like legitimate crashing it looks like in this game well sometimes I'll hit little static objects or non static objects and they'll move so I kind of like that all right let's roll up in here right fast there we go refill for 200 bucks don't mind if I do Good. like 35 gallons of fuel 32 gallons of fuel all right that's not too bad let's see what we've got over in our email area the cedar uh, familiarize yourself with the cedar next step all right Attach it, do some things, and we're good to go. Fantastic. Now, what happens if you touch these crops over here? Is it like Farmer's Dynasty where you lose money or something? Oh. Doesn't look like it. It's just a field that we can buy. Huh. Doesn't even appear to hurt it. Oh, is it raining outside? Oh, no. It's just the sound of us running through the grain. I was about to say, it almost sounded like it was raining. I don't know if there's dynamic weather or anything like that. There is, for sure, a temperature... I think it said it's like 73 degrees outside, which is absolutely fabulous. I don't know if that's the appropriate temperature in Montana at this time of year. All right, we need to fill the cedar up with some grain, which happens to be right over here by these delicious bags of wheat. And put it over here. Go ahead and fill it up with wheat. There we go. I really want to know what your employees do. If they do some of this for me, I will be so freaking happy. All right, boys. Time to sow the fields. How fast can this thing go while it's sowing the fields? Seven miles an hour? Eh, it's not too bad. Getting a little dark outside. Got to go ahead and turn on the old uh, lights up in here. Lights up the area pretty good, too. I really appreciate that. I'm going to tell you something. There's a freaking miracle grow going on over here. I, uh, I went to sleep. I seeded this area. I went to sleep. I woke up. And look at it. It's already sprouting. What kind of bizarre level of alien-like fertilizer... Are we freaking using on this stuff? Man! Now that said, it does make it very, very easy to see what I've already seeded and what I haven't. Which is pretty good, I guess. Worry not, Grandpa. You may have been a dirty farming pleb that left us with a quarter million dollars of debt. But we will drag your name out of the mud that you have created for yourself by bringing this glorious farm back to its original splendor. And afterward, we will curse your name for causing me to go through all this freaking pain and sadness to get there. All right. The field has been sown with extreme prejudice. What is next on the list of things to do? Over to the mailing area. Irrigating. Remember, private irrigation is crucial. If the weather's good, the field will be watered naturally you don't have to invest in any additional work the only problem is that it takes a lot of time to irrigate this way and rainfall pattern can always change the other way to irrigate is to use a cistern oh you already know how to hook it up and fill it so i'll focus on the field so i'll focus on the field work stop at the edge of the field and start up the sprinkler oh we have a sprinkler system all right it looks like we are gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way so i'm ga i'm grabbing the sipmo over here 600 i assume that's like 600 gallons maybe we gotta head over to our uh, our watering area. Go ahead and throw some water in this thing. Now it looks like we have some greenhouses and other stuff as well. Remember, there's a ton of other things on this farm that we could unlock for us to continue to use to make more money, which I'm very interested in. For right now, let us go around this way. Now you're gonna see a little green, like freaking look like ore veins laying around. There's sapphire laying all over the place in this game you can collect a hundred of them I don't know what you get when you get a hundred of them like if something cool in the game happens you get extra money like you could sell them to a dealer or something like that or you get extra XP I'm not really sure it's just kind of like a collectible thing for right now it, but there's a hundred of them I mean it's gonna take for freaking ever was that a bear crossing bear crossing well I guess it is Montana after all it does make sense all right go ahead and wander over here stop as we do Go ahead and transfer it on over. Got plenty of water after all. Got a brand, brand new, brand new. Got a brand spanking looking lake thing over there, which is pretty nice. So I was completely wrong. It's 1,600 gallons. So I don't know what this 600 stands for in this instance. You boys ready to irrigate the crap out of some fields? I wonder how far this sprays. Let's see. 
We turn it on, what happens? Uh, not very far, actually. Basically, like, just barely behind us. So now how fast can we go while we're doing this? Actually, we can go pretty fast. Um, seven miles an hour. Oh, it, a it sprays a lot farther than you think. Holy crap. Okay, let's finish this go. And then I'll move out a little bit and see if I can get further in the next pass. It definitely looks like we'll be able to, though. It goes like an extra three rows compared to where you'd think it would go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get can I get that little bit over there? Oh, you sure can. Freaking sweet. All right, yeah, we should get this irrigated in just a couple of minutes here. The only good thing about water is that it's free. Well, we don't have to pay for it, I should say. Unless there's, like, droughts in this game or something like that, which I pray to God there isn't. Can you believe this crap? I just went through all the trouble of watering the fields, and it's raining outside. <laughs> so apparently there is weather in this game. It probably would have told me... Not sure where it would have told me something like that. I don't know, maybe on my tablet or something about how the weather is going to be in the future. For right now... What I want to do is I want to grab some gas, and I want to see... Oh, wow, look at all the trees moving from the wind and everything. I didn't see that before. We're going to get some gas, and I want to see if we can get some employees to do the crappy stuff. Like, I want someone to do the plowing, because I hate that crap. And then while they're doing the plowing, we can go get some, uh, some different tasks and quests done and stuff like that to try and make some extra money. Got the windshield wipers on as we do. Boys know how it is. I appreciate them giving us windshield wipers. Although it doesn't actually look like the windshield wipers do anything. Like, I don't think any water collects on the windshield or anything. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some new gas over here. Get the whole 32 gallons or whatever it is all filled up. There we have it. Head back over to the farm. And then we can go ahead and it said all you have to do is just get the equipment prepared. Put it in the right spot. And then you'll be able to assign someone to do it. I think we have five employees or something it was saying. Now, we do have two fields that we own right now. We can actually buy a second one. It's like, uh, or a third one, I should say. It's like 7500 bucks for one of the smallest fields. But first, I'm going to see if we can get our employees working. So let's go ahead and back this over here. Attach it to our uh, machinery. Go over here to the map. Pull it on over to the other field that we have. Press the, the waypoint maker, which is E. And now we can drive ourselves over there and see if we can get someone else to do this boring stuff. Look at that field grow, baby! Two different shades of green, for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know how fast the crops grow in this game. I don't know if there's a month cycle in this game. All right. So here's the other yard. Now let's see if we can go to this field and drop this, uh, drop this thing off and see if someone will do this for us. Now, what do I have to do here? Do leave vehicle, detach it. If I, do I have to go, like, right in the middle, I wonder? I don't know. I've been trying to get an employee to work this. I, it looked like... If you began to work the field, you could get an employee to take your spot. But that does not appear to be happening right now. And I know that there's AI in this game, and you can get employees to do it. But there's nothing, like, normally there would be, at the bottom of the screen there, it would say, like, you know, E, blah, 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 do all this other stuff. If you go over to F1, it shows you the rest of the various options that you have. But there's nothing there for hiring the employee. All right. Well... I went through the forum, I went through the videos, there is no indication right now of how to hire any employees, sadly. In the German version, there was a J button that looked like you could hire the employee that way, but I get no J button when I move around right now. So maybe that's either coming up, or I need to do something else in order to do it, but god, I would love to have an NPC take this thing over and go ahead and plow it. The Empire begins though, boys. Money will be had. Also, I do have to say, this tablet is amazing. Like, if you go over to, I think it's called statistics and stuff like that, it'll show you what it believes your income will be based upon the type of crop that you planted and all that kind of stuff, uh, what the farm economy currently is for all the different things that you have. Like, right now, we don't really have very much, but you can see you can have rabbits and chickens and pigs and cows and fruit and all that kind of whatnot over there there's greenhouses that we haven't messed with yet here's the fields and it mentions how good the efficiency is and what the revenue that the field generates is that's a lot of information i actually really enjoy it hey guys what do you think of pure farming 2018 feel free to let me know in the comment section below again gonna be links in the description if you want to check it out until the next time folks stay foxy and much love